We're following another big story tonight, and it involves the latest problem for the Portsmouth Pavilion. A concert promoter is taking the city to court weeks after the city shut down the venue. They claim the city just wasn't upfront about how badly the roof was damaged and how much work needed to go into it. Robert Boyd is getting the facts on this one tonight. I am going just once to host shows again at the facility. That's what it's in the business of. That's what it wants to do. For the second summer in a row, the Atlantic Union Bank Pavilion sits quiet. All 10 events slated here for 2019 had to either be relocated or canceled. I am going has suffered a lot of expenses and losses as a result of losing two consecutive seasons. Attorney James Harvey said the event management company had no choice but to file a lawsuit against the city. The facility is under the control of the city, and it's been the city's decisions not to make it available to us. The pavilion remains closed due to structural concerns over the amphitheater's roof, which date back to last year. The city released this statement regarding the lawsuit. The city has begun discussions with I Am Going to address the claims in our customary and usual fashion. It may take additional time to resolve this matter. However, it must be said that the life health and safety of those who would work in or attend the pavilion is the city's utmost concern. I am going says when you close down the ticket window, it has a trickle down effect on everyone. Ticket revenue losses. It has expenses for moving uh, events to another facility that it hasn't been paid for. Uh, it also has sponsors and season ticket holders that it has to take care of and maintain good relationships. I am going says when you add up all the revenue they've lost, the city is going to spend more money in litigation than they would have if they just fixed the roof. From last year, this year, and potentially into next year, a little, a little less than four and a half million dollars. There was a pretty solid concert lineup set for the pavilion this summer. The shows will go on elsewhere. Some are moving to the amphitheater, others to the Ted and Chrysler Hall. We have a full list posted on 13newsnow.com.